Hi, this is Vanessa with Designs by Vanessa. Today's tutorial is on the knit linen stitch. And I recently posted a tutorial on working this stitch um, in rows. So today we're going to be working this stitch in the round. So this is what the linen stitch looks like. And I personally think that working in the round is easier because you don't have to think about the wrong side, the right side, you just work based on and focus on the right side. So I have some yarn um, left over from Knit Picks. This is their Tough Puff wool. And so I'm going to start with a long tail cast on. And you can start with the slip knot. I'm going to just, I, I'm not going to start with this slip knot, so I'm going to place my needle right below and I'm, work, and I'm working the long tail cast on method. So I do have a slower tutorial for this method, so I'm not going to go too slow here. So you want to cast on any odd number of stitches. So you, that's two stitches right there. So bring it under your thumb, this strand here, over this one, and then back through that loop. Okay, so you want to cast on any odd number of stitches. And I'm using a 16 inch circular needle. Oops, that sort of fell out. So cast on any odd number of stitches. And I'm using a 10 millimeter US 15 needle tip because this yarn is quite thick. It's a super bulky. Okay, so before you join your round, you always want to make sure that your stitches are not twisted. So just lay it flat or just in inspect it carefully to make sure that it's not twisted. And then I'm going to join with the invisible joining method. And I have 40, 39 stitches, so an odd number of stitches. So you, what you want to do is slip this stitch on your left hand needle and then grab the second stitch over here and pull it over that stitch you just slipped and then drop it and then place the first stitch that you slipped back on your left hand needle. Okay, so now place your stitch marker. I have tutorials on making these um, stitch markers as well. I'll go ahead and link that in the corner screen. So for your first round, you want to knit one. So insert your needle through the front loop and then knit your first stitch. And then for the second stitch, you want to slip as if to purl with the yarn in the front. So when you're knitting, your yarn is in the back. You want to make sure your yarn is in the front. Okay. And you're just going to slip the stitch. Now place your yarn in the back and then knit the next stitch. Yarn in the front, slip the next stitch. Put your yarn in the back and knit the next stitch. Okay, so that's the repeat all the way around. You're just alternating a knit stitch and a slip stitch. And you want to make sure when you're slipping your stitch 
you're slipping purlwise with your yarn in the front. Okay, knit. And slip. Knit. And slip. Okay, so work that all the way around. Okay, so I'm at the end of the first round. And you start it with a knit stitch, so you should end with a knit stitch. Because we're working in the round and we have to alternate the knit and slip stitches. That's why you need an odd number of stitches. So your very first stitch for round two is a slip stitch because this was your first knit stitch. So yarn in the front, slip the first stitch, Yarn in the back, knit the next stitch. Yarn in the front, slip the next stitch. Yarn in the back, knit the next stitch. So you're basically doing the same thing as the first round, except that you're alternating. Um, you're going to work the knit over the slip stitches and the slip stitches over the knit stitches. So this was your previous knit stitch. So you're going to slip this stitch. And this was your previous slip stitch. So you're going to knit this stitch, okay? So alternate your knit and slip stitches all the way around. And one thing you want to keep in mind is when you're slipping your stitches, you want to make sure that you make it really loose. So you don't want to pull this tight and then to knit your next stitch because you're not actually working the this, this stitch from your left hand needle, you're just sliding it over and you're, you're going to pull the stitches together. So you want to make sure when you knit this next stitch in between the slip stitches that you want to keep this loose. Okay, so I'm at the end of round two, and again, if you're starting, so I'm starting with a slip stitch, so I should be ending with a slip stitch. So I'm going to slip my last stitch, move my stitch marker over, and then that's the two round repeat. So you're, you want you want to repeat round one, which is just starting with the knit one and then you slip the next. You knit the next and you slip the next. Okay, when you're slipping your yarn is in the front and when you're knitting your yarn is in the back. And you just repeat rounds one and two and you're just alternating the stitches. Staggered. So these are the slip stitches. And this is staggered. That's because you're alternating um, with round one and two. You're alternating the slip stitches go over the knit and the knit go over the slip stitches. And that's what creates this um, 
texture and design. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe.